Hi guys, we're back again at the warehouse and today I was gonna talk a bit about how it is to have an online Gundam store like this because I suppose a lot of people probably think it's pure heaven to walk around all these nice boxes and it is, but there are always some obstacles and some hurdles to get by. So, to begin with, of course, uh, driving this business is fun. It's very fun. One of the best things is actually the customers. Uh, our fan base is a very special pool of people that are overflowing us with love and, you know, nice words and proactive emailing. And yeah, we can't get down from the pedestal we're on and we're just happy every day to be working with you guys. And of course, the products itself themselves are awesome. I built myself right now. It's not so much, but I have a huge collection at home. I love the products. I love the process. I love uh, being able to spread the entire hobby to, to, uh, to Europe in general. So what are some of the obstacles? Some of the obstacles in the web shop is getting the stuff. So right now we've been making a lot of videos regarding, oh, we don't have enough space and we're too overflowing with kits. And Primarily right now, that is true. You can see our shelves is just stacked up with kits. And it's not because people are not buying anything. They're actually buying quite well. But right now, there's not a problem, problem about getting kits. It's maybe more about getting the right kits. So a lot of you know how this works. So you can skip all that part and just move forward to some kind of point. You know, nothing I make here is scripted. So I just speak from the heart. But what I'm going to tell now is probably gonna, gonna open some people's eyes on why we can't get stuff all the time. So <clears throat> if you imagine, uh, now I'm just gonna take a, a kit. Now these runners here or sprues or whatever you wanna call them, they are being produced in a mold injection machine, which means that they're actually making a, a mold, molding form in uh, some kind of a metal. I'm not quite sure what material it is, but it contains one runner or one sprue. So what they do is that they take this form and sink, uh, lower it down into the machine and the machine then uh, puts plastic inside the mold. Uh, then it gets shot out and that's how the process goes. I can't remember how many machines they got, but it's not hundreds of machines. So for a kit like this, we probably have, I'm not quite sure, let's see, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten runners. We have ten runners here that, that will be need to be made in a machine. So what they do is they, they, they start a process of making, let's say, Gundam double O kits, and they just keep on producing them for some amount of time. I'm not quite sure how long. And let's just say that they made 100,000 in that series and maybe a couple of thousands of each number, you know, each model. So what happens then? Then they have to change for the next model. Let's say they go for the real grades. And that means that the number of Gundam 00 kits that have been printed for sale is what there is in the market at the moment. So as they sell out, we have to wait for them to get reprinted because there are so many models. I can't even remember probably more than 3,500 active models that has to go in cycles all the time. So some people are asking, when are we getting those? And when are you getting that? Or can't you get that? It's sold out. When will it be back? I can't tell you because Bandai even stopped, uh, you know, sending out these files. They, in the beginning, they had files stating the dates of when kits would be produced. And even if they get produced, it's not even certain that Europe will get in. And if Europe gets some, it's not even sure that I will get any because I'm not important enough. That's how it works sometimes. Also, it's when you order first or most or whatever. I can tell you a little a bit about that later. But so there's some of the hurdles is to get the bright kits. For example, like this, I, I made some buzz about the narrative Gundam Apex haven't been in the shop in the three years that I had it. Now it's being produced. How many should I get? Should I buy a hundred? No, I don't have space for a hundred. Should I buy 10? Probably. Yeah. I bought a bit more. Will they be sold? I don't know. I hope so. 
if they don't get salt no worries it's not like it's getting too old like food or getting outdated or getting whatever i can sell it in 20 years if i want to i just don't have the space so that's another hurdle is how much stock should you get of each kit sometimes uh, you know it's a hit or miss because what i like is not necessarily what the customers like like there's some kits i thought was awesome never sells and other kits i think look like hell they are gone within the first couple of days another hurdle so um yeah like you probably have seen of some of my uh, competitors other shops in the world damaged boxes we get damaged kits and it's a huge process to get them to you know get us new stuff or discounts and then i have to make a scrap yard and i have to you know uh, make the products with a discount a new product in the web shop uh, how damaged is it what price should it be it's, it's a huge process it's not worth the time actually and um so that's how it is to drive a business, no matter what kind of business. I have another business as well that's also have its issues. So it's not like I'm going to stand here and cry. I'm just trying to explain the, the, the challenges that we sometimes face. Uh, then we have what's all the difficult stuff in the shop like this. The, the, the problem is, of course, space. Right now, we live in a part of Denmark where warehouses cost a fortune. And uh, for us to optimize the warehouse, you know, get a new one or bigger one, would take a huge uh, toll on the income that we have. And we can't afford that right now. So we have to make it work for at least another year. And once that year has gone, then we, if we move, the entire process of uh, gaining maybe 10% growth will be eaten by the new warehouse. So that's how it is. But then when something gets produced like Gundam 00, we might be able to buy double up of those and have them in stock for us double the time. Which is also why I, I added the, uh, the apps in the web store. So now get a notification once it gets back so you don't have to ask me just uh, write up for a notification and you will get it as soon as it lands in the shop again but it could take more than a year nobody knows sometimes uh, i have good connections and i get some extra kits but it's not likely that i can do that all the time uh, i also have the wish list that people should use because it's a good tool for making sure that we have now more than a couple of thousand kits i think it gives a better overview of the ones that you actually want and that's also a problem because it's not a problem, but some people are like using wish list for like a thousand wishes. So they're emptying the, the, the threshold for where we have to pay more to get maybe like a 100,000 wishes. So that's also taking a toll of our uh, expenses. And right now, of course, the world is a problem because everything is rising. So shipping is killing us. And we're not like in the US and Canada where they have insane shipping prices on boxes. We have more or less the same just on weight. We are not volume based unless it's very big. So that's no issue. Um, what else? What else? I mean, basically, we are so glad about this. This is the best move I have ever made in my entire career is to make this web shop uh, and you guys are driving the passion because of all the love that we get and because the products themselves are giving people so much joy um, so actually this was just a, a, a small you know uh, some small thoughts from me it's difficult for me to find new stuff to talk about all the time but that's why I also say just write in the comments whatever you want me to try to, to cover. I will try to cover it. Uh, what's your next move or are you growing more inventory? Uh, you know, different kinds of stuff. Like now we tried with all the merchandise stuff. Um, and also the, the other Bandai brands. We have lots of stuff that's not Gundam related, but it actually sells well. Uh, we're trying to get some connections in Japan still we have connections in japan to get the premium bandai and the gundam base kits and um yeah a lot of stuff is happening all the time all this youtube stuff is new as well it takes time but not that bad because i'm not editing and, and 
building stuff live and all that i might do something once i get more time later on if youtube seems to grow and it seems to go okay when you're thinking about how, how little i actually did um other hurdles could be marketing we're trying to spread our shop in the entire europe right now we're only doing in the neighboring countries because uh, once we start using facebook and google ads it's eating away roughly 10 15 percent of our revenue so people if you stumble across some gundam uh, store related ads on google or facebook don't press it just do it on the organic way cost us money every time um but yeah we're trying to do uh, our best and hitting different countries and for some weird reason countries all over the world are finding us uh, probably because we're one of the shops uh, i'm not afraid to say in europe actually with most inventory or at least with most models in stock we actually have a lot um so marketing is also a hurdle, at least that I'm good at it. So it's not the biggest problem, but um, it's something that takes time and takes a toll on the uh, on revenue in the store. And here goes the line. So that was just the thoughts I had, actually. Um, I think that light might be, maybe I should time it. So I know I have to cut the video just before it turns off. Um, that was just my thoughts for this time. I hope you enjoy it. Um, I have nothing more right now. I mean, at least this was just what I had in mind. So remember to like and subscribe and I can see when you do it, things happen in the algorithm in YouTube and we get more and more uh, followers and views, which is great because then I want to continue. Um, and then I will be back soon because we will have three or four restocks in the next 10 days. So I will try to make more videos as soon as that happens. Till then, happy building guys.